So let's talk about installing the bearings. These little plastic pieces are really important. If you put these on wrong, you're gonna have all kinds of troubles with your car and it won't be very good. So I'm gonna show you a few tricks that make it really, really easy. Eh, easy maybe isn't the right word. Make it much more likely that you will be successful. First thing we gotta learn about is this fancy dancy tool called the T-square. And this thing is great because it gives you a perfect 90 degree angle. And that's what we want because we want our axles, which is gonna hold our wheels, to be perfectly straight relative to the sides of the car and relative to the back wheels. If this is turned, curved, put, not put on straight, your car will wanna turn that way. Same thing here, your car is gonna to wanna to turn. So you wanna get these things straight on, and that's what we use this tool for. Key piece. This tool only works if the entire side of the board, the entire side of the chassis, is in contact with this bar. If you have it like that, your car will not go straight. See that gap in the back? It's touching there and there's a gap in the back. Your car is gonna turn. It needs to be connected all the way down. And this can happen when you're just getting things set up. You put it on and then you put your, your bearings on in place. And I'll show you how to do that. Do, 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 do. And then you go to put do your gluing and you weren't paying attention and this slipped out just a little, just a tiny little bit. Mm -hmm. And then once it slips out, you're not touching back here. So you have to make sure you're keeping pressure on the side of this while you're working with your bearings and getting that glued down. All right, next piece. You wanna have your bearing sticking out beyond the edge of the chassis. A lot of times students will, people will, glue their bearing inside of the outside edge here. And that will make your wheel rub against the side of the chassis. You don't want that. You want it to stick out just a little bit beyond. Doesn't have to be much. Just any amount will be fine. And that needs to be true for both sides. So we got it sticking out on both sides. We have this T-square pressed up again. I don't know if you noticed that, but when I pressed it, it moved, so that tells me it wasn't on straight. Once I have that done, I use one finger right in the middle and I hold down the, the axle and I'm kind of pushing this way just a little bit. You don't have to push super hard, just enough to keep this bearing and this bearing tied up against the T-square. Then I check this again, I give it a little push, make sure I know where I'm going with that. It's really handy to have somebody else helping you on this. I've done it a lot of times, so I, I could hold this and hold this at the same time, but sometimes it's handy to have two people there. But do be careful if you have somebody else helping you. I've had students kind of have their finger up here on this bearing, and then when the glue gets on there, it gets on your finger. So be careful, keep your fingers tucked in. Put on a glob of glue. I kind of push it up onto the bearing a little bit and then down onto the, the board a little bit, like that. Do another bead on this side. Again, I kind of just making sure it gets onto the bearing nicely and onto the wood nicely. Something like that. You don't need to go crazy with the glue. You don't need a ton of glue, but you definitely need enough because if you don't put enough on there, it will fall off and it'll break pretty easily. Now, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna hold this for like 60 seconds and you're gonna say, 60 seconds, no big deal, one minute. It's forever, so be patient. Look at the clock, have somebody else time you, anything. Just make sure you're really patient with it. If you move too early, you're gonna bump this and you're gonna move things. It happens all the time, so sit there patiently waiting. Once you've waited, and I haven't waited long enough, but I'm just doing this for demo demonstration purposes. Once you've waited long enough, then I roll my finger back. 
Notice, see how I did that and the, and the axle spins? And I roll my finger back. That's the best way to do it. If you're holding this for one minute and then you just lift your finger up, I have seen the whole thing pop up, move up. And so by rolling your finger back, you help to keep pressure backwards and you get your finger off at the same time. So be careful not to pull straight up and not to wiggle side to side or anything like that. Then you can pull this straight back and you can add some glue to the back side. And that will all right there you go that is putting on the bearings